The Lord said to me, you can only meet with him in praise. Are you ready to sing that song? I will praise him, oh my Savior. I will praise him forevermore. Oh yeah. I will praise him, oh my Savior. Hallelujah. 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 I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Power of God that will make you to praise the Lord. I command today by the order of God with your several elements. Let it flow into your life. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 3 says, For I will pour water upon him that is tasty. Take note of this word. When the word of the Lord says, Upon him that is tasty, he's not talking of one the person that needs to drink water. It's upon that person that is waiting for a particular expectation. When the word of the Lord talk about testing the realm of the spirit, it means that somebody that is expecting. When you are expecting God to do something for you, you are tasting. Are you hearing me? And if you are tasting, and if God is talking about water, the Lord will say, I will give, I will give drink water to somebody that is tasting. I will pour water upon him. That is what? You are not saying it very loud and clear. Upon him that is tasty. And flood upon the dry ground. Meaning that God is doing abundant greatness. I pray in the name of Jesus to your testing soul. Your testing life. Your testing marriage. Your testing ministry. Let the water of God flow in the name of Jesus. That situation that is as if is a dry situation. Whenever people see you, they see greatness in you, but never manifest. Whenever you see yourself, you see pain in yourself, and you begin to carry it everywhere, because they have said that is the way it's supposed to be. I pray in the name of you know, every form of dryness in your life, I command by the order of God, oh yeah, disappear. Disappear. Oh my God, disappear. I said disappear. I said disappear. I said disappear. I want you to raise the power of dryness in my life. Say, hear the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, receive fire. Fire, 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 Amen. Here this is said number three. And number three says, I will pour my spirit upon thy seed. Two words for you. It says, to a thirsty soul, to a dry ground, that is for you. Now I say, my spirit upon your seed. I pray. Somebody will be asking, I do not have children. Where will the spirit of the Lord come? When he mention my seed, I do not have husband or wife. Where will he come? When will I have my seed? I pray rising from this altar. It does not matter how long you have been waiting on God. What matter is the day that God is keeping an appointment with you? Anna has been going to Shiloh until one day I command in the name of Jesus upon thy cedar. Let the blessing of God, the Spirit of the Lord, flow in the name of Jesus. I want 
to liken this seed also to every of your every of your offering, your tithe, your what again, your vows, your covenant with God that you have been keeping very well. They are part of your seed. Is that okay? And he say, my spirit upon it. Whenever the spirit of God come upon your seed, your seed will have what is called value. When it comes upon your children, your children will have what is called value. Anywhere they may be found. Something great will happen to say, whose son or whose daughter is this? Are you hearing me? I pray in the name of Judah, upon your seed, but the one from your body, the one from your hands, from the one from your mouth. Oh yeah, let the Spirit of God flow in the name of Jesus. Hey, let it flow in the name of Jesus. Do you know that your seed of service can also go expressly to God? When men are saying, I do not have anything to lay claim on, and you look at yourself, I have so many. Zechariah says something. Is it Ezekiah? He laid claim on his service unto the Lord. When the prophet came to Ezekiah, he said, you are going to die. And Ezekiah said, I cannot die. Do you hear me very well? I cannot do what? He said, Lord, remember my service. My service will be able to keep me alive. Hey! There are lots of people who serve God. They are servicing the work of God, but they don't know how to lay claim on it. When they said he was a sick man and the prophet of the Lord came to him and the prophet of the Lord said to him, boy or man, you are going to die. Put your house in order. He did not negotiate with the prophet. He allowed the prophet to go. The Bible said immediately the prophet left, he faced the wall. He said, Lord, I cannot die. Remember my service. Until when you know how to call your service to attention, for God to understand, you will only be serving in vain. Are you hearing me? Your service is another seed you have. Do you get it right? Your service is another seed you have. I pray in the name of Jesus, when the spirit of the Lord come upon your seed, something great will happen. In the name of Jesus, oh yeah, your seed carry greatness. I say your seed will carry greatness. When the Lord is blessing somebody, he's blessing you with your entire family. He's blessing you with your body system. He's blessing you with everything you lay your hands on. He's blessing you even for your future business that you have never done. He's blessing you concerning that past you never see. He's blessing you concerning that generation that we emerge from you. Do you hear this very well? I pray today in the name of Jesus, anywhere your sin may be found, your seed of service, your seed of money, your seed of the body, your seed of your hand, or from your mouth, or from your brain, the spirit of the Lord will flow. And he say, my blessing upon thy offspring. Ah, this is a total blessing for somebody today. If you can claim this blessing, you need to know how to lay claim on it. Are you hearing me? One thing you need to understand is, any blessing that comes into your life, if you don't receive it, it's not going to work. First of the thing you need to do, whenever the word of the Lord is being spoken to your life, you receive the word. You hear me very well. You receive the word. Sometimes I go to some places and the Lord says, don't collect their honorarium. I will receive the honorarium. And I will tell them, the Lord say, I should receive and I give you back. Meaning that I do not reject the blessing from that place. I receive the blessing and the Lord say, I should sow it into this ministry. Do you hear me very well? I remember I went to a particular Bamti church, one big Bamti church in Agege. When they gave the seed, very big envelope, the Lord said, son, I'm going to perform great miracle and God work it. I'm going to open your eyes to see what you have never seen in that place, what is happening in that church. The Lord did it, but do not receive honorarium. And I say, okay, sir. And immediately, we finished the service. The service was powerful. Hey, was what? Powerful. Then, 
As we went to the office, they brought the fat envelope. I said, wow. If I'm somebody that my high disease is sabi, 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 I will say, now they will talk, no be God. Are you hearing? And I said, I receive it. I take it to my heart. I said, God bless you for this. I, I just said a little prayer. What I wanted the Lord to do. And I say, I, the Lord said, I should release it back to the ministry. They said, you are the number two from the assistant of this ministry over 50 or 60 years ago. Are you hearing me? And I'm enjoying that blessing to you today. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every of your seed. Every of your offering. I command the name of Jesus. Every of the blessing of God uh, that you have labored for over the years uh, is as if you have never received the harvest of it. Uh, I command the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, Your offspring will enjoy. I declare, let your offering enjoy it in the name of Jesus. Do you know some family left evil left over for their children? But what the Lord is saying today, He's saying, Your offspring. People that will spring forth from you. Is that not what offspring means? From your boy, nation will come. Are you hearing me? Your children will give back to children. As a matter of fact, after so many years, you will not even remember where how far your name will spread. Women don't worry. Some women will say, My children bear the name of my husband. Yeah, because you are one. So it's possible. This is the reason when you want to name your children, name Atayero Adeleke Temilolua. Let your name be part of that name. So the generation will not wipe off. You hear me? So many of you still bear grandfather name. Do you understand what I'm saying? When we want to do, what is it called now? National ID card. We have to rephrase it again. Atayero a delicate timula. When they know the attire is spreading from whence thou comest, and they will look. I came from the root of a delicate. Are you hearing me? And by the time my children also grow, they will also look for something to hard as an addendum because of the blessing. So the blessing of a delicate is what I'm talking about right now. I am not talking about the blessing of Atayero. I command in the name of Jesus. The blessing that your generation reduced to have eyes so. I command the name of Jesus. What you are receiving now? I shall receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4 of that scripture says, Everything and everybody I've said, it says, And they shall spring up as among the grass. And we love by the water what? Curses. Many years ago, I had the opportunity to visit the place for family liberation, Abonima. That we have to go through the jetty in Abonima. Everywhere we went to, happened to be the barren area. We are inside flying boat for one hour, 30 minutes. And the demon, we, the deity wants to deal with live inside that river. According to the story, it is a snake. Very big snake. Anytime the snake come out, it's celebration in their place. I want to chase away that forces from a place. I hear this, there was thunder and fire. One of my pastor friends said, man of God, ah, shout it, baby, I hope we never finish here. I said, no, I'm here, don't worry. And what? We are the fear that the fearful fear must fear. Do you hear me? Because of what? What will depend on? What will stand by? And on getting to that place, the seed of that man have tried a lot of things. And the Lord said, I will use their seed to open this door. There is a particular door that nobody has ever opened since the death of their father for 30 something years. And where I was resting altar, it was a little they said, sir, this happened to be the, the what is it called? Ojubo. What is Ojubo? The main altar of my father, where my father do the sacrifice. This is the place you are raising the hoy. We raised seven hoy there. I didn't know. Immediately that happened. The Lord said, stop. I want to make use of the seed of that man. And one just, one, one rose up. I begin to manifest like a snake. Scatter everywhere. And they stood up. Who is 
is that person? The Lord said, he wants to you one of the seed. One of the seed, not you. Oh, yeah, manifest. The man rose up. And, and they, this man stood up like a robocop. Bah, bah, bah. And he got to the door. They have never opened for 30 something or 20 something years. And he hit his hand on the door. Bah! And the door opened. I pray for you today. What do children inherit from their father happen to be ancient idol? I command the name of Jesus. Every idolatry power that will not allow you to grow. Let the idolatry power fast right As we are going on the journey, I understand the Bible that says the tree planted by the rivers of water. Do you understand? They don't have, they don't have the ground. They don't have the head. They survive inside the water. And you will see tree, bring forth tree on the tree. I say, wow. I, saw, I was just looking at the miraculous act of God. When you get to a place and they are, the tree were beautiful, colorful. I wanted to tell the flying boatman, I said, look at, and, and, and there was fear upon everyone. Look at the ocean. Look at the small river. If you understand the river that link with ocean, you will understand. My wife did not know where I go. Do not know that my husband traveled for family liberation? I did not even know where I was going. We just got there. I said, oh, Lord, I know what I'm going to fear. I mean, Lord, into your hands I put my spirit. Are you hearing me? We saw ocean. Oh, what? Ocean. The flying boat man have to manipulate ocean. You can't use flying boat on the ocean. Because of what? The wave. But God secures because of that place. The testimony remained the same up to now. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are seed that has been suffering, if you are a seed of a man you have been suffering, I command the name of Jesus, let that suffering disappear. I say disappear. Somebody you are watching me, after the fear that happened in your family, they now use you as a collateral to defend them in a place. Your spirit is being injured and suffering. The Lord asked me to tell you as you read this altar. I read this altar in the name of Jesus. Every part that used your life as a security for the family members. The power that used your life as a security for your family. The greatest will happen to other people, but it will not happen to you. I command the name of Judah. Oh, yeah, let them by force red. Force red. Force red. Force red. In the name of Jesus. The Lord show me. He said, Everyone in this family will have something to point to, but not this one. Anything about if you bore it, the one they use for idolatry means never progress. Do you hear me? That person will never progress, no matter how you try. So I begin to see other people, things will be working, but will not work for you. Because of what? They use you to secure other people. Your destiny will never work, but will be working the life of other people. I pray today, today, let your destiny repair. I say, let that destiny repair. Let it repair. Let it repair. Let it repair. Let us rebel! Let us rebel! Let us rebel! In the name of Jesus! Many years ago, they said that my wife looked like a grandmother. That is the mother that gave birth to her mother. And the Lord said something to me. Everything that that woman carries will affect her. Anytime they see my wife, they will address her as our mother. When I married, the Lord said, change that order. To some people who don't know, they will be happy. Are you listening to me? I look like, you look like my mother. I call my, grand, my mother-in-law, I say, Mama, my wife is no longer your mother. I say, why? I say, I say, it's no longer your what? Your mother, she's my wife. So, I now have to educate my mother-in-law. She's a good friend to me, my mother-in-law. Uh, we are too close. As a matter of fact, we came from the same town. Our house is not far from each other. When I took my wife home, some, my, my sister said, oh, my father never do something somewhere. They said, you look alike. Oh, they begin to make investigation. They make investigation. Oh. Before they now say, you cannot marry. 
but he didn't tell us. It was later I got to know. Are you hearing me? And I told my mother and I said, go and tell your siblings that my wife is no longer your mother. They should look for another daughter of theirs that will represent if they need a mother. I pray today by the powerful hands of God, I command in the name of Jesus, every hand that is holding you down to where you do not belong. Every part that uses your life as a cholesterol. I command the name of Jesus, with your two rather amen. Oh, you let the power be frustrated. Amen. Amen. Jesus. So shall it be in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord asked me to tell somebody. He said, remember you know the former thing. Isaiah 43 verse 18. You know, consider the things of old. He said, look at it, consider it. Hi, we do a new thing. That new thing that only God can work in your life. That only God can do in your life. I pray in the name of Jesus, let it manifest. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Glory. 